Llega a nuestro catálogo la primera historia de mujeres piratas, eh, de las bucaneras del mundo. El título es Mujeres Piratas, las princesas, prostitutas y corsarias que gobernaron los siete mares, de la autora Laura Subduncom. Eh, recién recibimos la traducción a cargo de Lara Stern y esperamos que esté publicado en la popular eh, al principio del próximo año. Eh, es un ensayo fascinante porque va rescatando la historia de mujeres que junto a sus homólogos varones estuvieron dominando el mundo, en eh, muchas partes del mundo, Rusia, Inglaterra, eh, China. Entonces, eh, pues eh, durante todos esos siglos, estas mujeres, pues no se sabía mucho de ellas. La autora, Laura, eh, retoma mujeres tanto legendarias como históricamente probadas, o sea que es muy probable que hayan existido, y le gusta hablar también de estos mitos de las mujeres piratas en un ensayo muy, muy narrativo, donde saca de las sombras a esas mujeres que estuvieron también dominando los siete mares y les da la visibilidad que merece. Y nos da mucho gusto a Paco Taibo y a mí que hoy se haya conectado con nosotros Laura Sukum desde eh, Texas, ¿no? Eh, and I want to ask you, hi Laura. Hello. Eh, where did the idea for this book come from? Uh, I have always loved pirates. Um, when I was a little girl, my favorite story was Peter Pan. And I loved to... Um, just imagine what the pirates were doing and they always seemed like they were having just so much fun. And uh, I think the idea of freedom appealed to me even as a very little girl and I kept them in my heart um, always. And um, when I was older, uh, in high school, I started thinking that, you know, there are so many stories of male pirates, but I've never heard of any women pirates, but they must exist because, you know, everywhere men are, women are. And so I started reading just um, of, for my own pleasure. And when I started looking, they were everywhere, but they were tucked away in other people's stories. So it was, you know, male pirate and his wife or, you know, this criminal was apprehended, but they were pirates and they had been there all along in these stories, but just hidden. And I so angry by that, that I wanted uh, the world to know about these pirates. I thought it's when you leave women out, you leave half of the story out. And I wanted everyone to know the full story because pirates, female pirates have been sailing with men as long as there have been pirates. And I think it's important that everyone know that. Well, of course you have a point and it's very clear. But Texas, working from Texas, who has very little sea without pirates, It's not New Orleans. No, no? I know. It, well, it's, uh, you know, um, it, it's what I dream about. You know, if I were close to the sea, maybe I'd be bored of it. But because I never see the ocean, <laughs> I can just, I can dream about it. And so it's always fresh in my imagination. <laughs> For us, it's, a, it's, it's an important book. You don't realize it because you are in the middle of the front here in Mexico. <laughs> Uh, but uh, last year, when we decided to publish your book and other books, it was a different approach to the male-female question, no? As you say, they, they are over, over, all over. And where mm -hmm. are they, no? And uh, we discovered a couple of books which are very interesting for us that give us a different perspective, no? Not only the traditional perspective of the uh, controversial Uh, man women uh, relation mm -hmm. through the centuries but the different approaches your your pirates is very uh, me uh, let, let's find the, the english word amazing strange beautiful right. <laughs> beautiful because it's Thank full you. of of short stories it's like a collection of short stories yes Yes. Well, many of these women, uh, we don't know very much about them because the problem with pirates is, you know, they're outside the law. So they're outside our record keeping. So, you know, they don't file tax returns. They don't, you know, publish their weddings in the papers. They're, you know, they're, they're, they're hidden. And so um, I collected as much as I could. And it is the most complete volume of female pirates that there is. But even saying that, there's still so much that we don't know, um, which is frustrating to me. You know, the The big myth of pirates is that pirates buried treasure. Everybody thinks that pirates buried their treasure underground, but they they didn't. They spent it as, as quickly as they got it, and sometimes beforehand. They were not very, you know, they weren't thinking ahead. They weren't saving their money. 
So I always, you know, joke that the real buried treasure is the true stories of these pirates' lives because you really have to go hunting to find them. Uh, which of all your characters is your favorite pirate? Oh, so hard. <laughs> <laughs> I am. Um, I well, the reason I wrote this book was Chengi Sao, the Chinese pirate, because you know. In any way that you measure success, you know, how much money, how long they worked, how long they lived, how many ships they had, whatever metric you choose to assess success, she was the best and better than any male pirate ever. You know, Blackbeard at the height of his career had like 12 ships, maybe, you know, she had 1,200. And so she's just so much better at being a pirate than anyone who ever lived. And she's a woman and no one knows about her. And so um, she, I think she's a very, she's extremely important pirate. I would love for there to be a big Hollywood blockbuster about her. So everyone knew about her. Um, and that was one of my most, my biggest reasons of writing this book was so people could know about Ching Yi Sao. But I also, I love Grace O'Malley because she was a, a mother and a pirate and I have two little boys and uh, I like the idea of her, you know, kind of holding her baby on her hip and then sword fighting with her other hand, you know, and she had her boys on the ship with her. And so, you know, that that balance of life and career has been true for women throughout all time. And I just I feel very connected uh, to Grace's story because, you know, she had sons and I have sons. So. Uh, I <laughs> there's an underground story in your book, which I love almost as much as I love the, the little short stories at the inside. It's freedom. Mm -hmm. uh, they are anti-system. Uh, mm -hmm. They are outside the system. They are extremely outside. They are in danger of permanently being caught and killed. Mm -hmm. And it's freedom. You talk about freedom a lot in, in your book. Yes, absolutely. Um, I'm, I'm glad you picked that up because I do think that you know, it's it's kind of amazing that there aren't more female pirates because, you know, women are always told, you know, no, you can't do that. This is a man's world. This is a man's job. This is where you belong. And women are just, you know, closed into little places where women belong. And so why not, you know, just say, no, thank you, society. I'm going to do my own thing and I'm going to be free and be a pirate. I mean, I, I think every woman should be a pirate, you know, <laughs> just because <laughs> the, the, the freedom is so appealing. And I think, uh, I think women understand that in a very special way. I mean, I think everyone wants to be free, but I think women, you know, really understand that draw to be able to live your life on your own terms and, um, and follow your own desires without someone telling you, you can't do it. Definitely every woman. Yes. Yeah, pirate. <laughs> uh, what contributions do you think your book makes to the recognition of women in history? Oh, I, well, I I mean it's it's kind of it's incontrovertible, right? It's a it's a book. It's there, you know. It's, it's a full volume. So you know, for people who say, "Oh no, there aren't women pirates," you know, they're only saucy wenches, and you know, they think of the the sexy pirates. I think this is this was an attempt to, to show them as they really were and kind of look at them from a female gaze instead of a male gaze. Um, and, you know, there are some really incredible works of scholarship on female pirates, um, you know, Ann Chambers, Grace O'Malley, and, you know, Diane Murray's Chingy Sao, but it's just one pirate, one pirate, one pirate. But to collect them all in one book, I think, I hope just reminds people that, you know, to look at every story you're, you're reading and examine the source, you know, the news, uh, you know, you're hearing one side of the story, but there's always another side of the story. And I hope that this book reminds people to look at all the sides of the story and the things that you're, that are, that are being left out. You know, something I loved, uh, learning about in the book was, um, the Viking tapestries, you know, you think of Vikings like, Oh, men, you know, so men <laughs> and ruthless, but that we have the stories from women, but they wove them into tapestries. And for so long, we're like, Oh, it's art. It's pretty. It's girl stuff. But really they were recording their history too. And from their own point of view. And so I just wonder what else is out there that we have ignored that is, you know, from a woman's point of view. And I hope that this book sort of opens people's eyes to keep looking. I want to clap because when I was six years <laughs> old, my favorite hero was a woman. It was Yolanda, the daughter of the Red Corsario, written by Emilio Salgari. 
of a character that doesn't exist. He created. Oh, okay. But, but but it was one of my favorites. And in mm. the in the bottom of my heart, I I I grew up with Capitan Tormenta and Yolanda, the two great uh, women heroes of the novels of, of Emilio Salgari, and helped me to understand the world. So I, I want to clap for your book. Uh, it, it's new, it's different, and it's important. And I think readers in Mexico are going to love it. And you I have something to say in Spanish? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, estoy muy feliz y agradecida que mi libro, Mujeres Piratas, se publique en español con FCE. Wow. Y más contentos nosotros por tener este libro en la popular dentro del próximo año. Estamos preparándolo para el primer semestre y estamos seguros que las lectoras y lectores también van a disfrutar muchísimo porque es una historia, además, contada muy narrativa. Hay muchas espadas, sangre <ríe> y, y muchas sexo, aventuras. Sexo, sexo. Lots of sexo. Lots of sexo. Por supuesto. <ríe> muchas gracias, much. Laura. Thank you very much. Laura, thank you very much. Thank you.